Good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the auto sum and auto fill command. In our last lecture, we talk about the cost function, the count functions, and so on. Today, so we are going to talk about the auto sum and auto fill functions in an Excel. As we all know, that auto sum functions is one of the most powerful functions and most widely used in an Excel. Okay, let's go. Let's work on our previous templates we have been using from our previous lectures. Let me clear this song off. Okay. Don't mind the percent because the value we actually need to create it has been removed. So let me just clear it. Let me just clear it. Alright. The function of the 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 function of the auto sum function here if you want to apply it to to this range of cell you first pick the cell here then go to your of uh, your formula bar here you can see the auto sum function here just click it you can see and press enter you can see that it's automatically sum up the values on this column here without giving us any puzzle we can as well apply the same method on the other other column here. Just go to click on auto sum function and click on enter. Click on auto sum function, click on the cell and click on auto function, press enter, click on the cell and click on the auto sum function and press enter. So that is just there are some the also some functions here. Now let me let me clear this off. Let me also do that on this side. This side of the on the on the row side here. Mm, but one thing um, I want to I want to try to bring in here is most times the range of cell you have to try to Make sure you copy the major and uh, the range of cell you want that you actually know the range of cell you are using the auto sum for because if you, if you are using the the auto sum function and you are picking the wrong range of cell you might automatically be given a wrong wrong result so i would advise you to be to make sure that when you're using the auto sum function you you get the the exact range of cell you are you are actually you are, you are using us so for for instance let me try to get if I actually am right on this range of cell you click on you can double click on this this total here it will definitely give you the range of cell you are actually copying you can see that from C3 C3 to C9 alright same thing applies to other C C3 to C9 so it's telling me that I'm my range of set is right here. Okay. Let me do the same. I pick the cell, then go to auto sum function and press enter. Click the cell, get the auto sum function and press enter. Okay, right. So look at what is going to happen here now. Pick the cell and get the auto sum function. You can see it's giving me the wrong list of cell. It's only giving me the 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 column. Here for the personal record and the local record. Whereas I need the total sum on the management, not on the personnel and local. So, in order to correct this error here, let me say previously, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to correct the auto sum function in the Excel here. So just drag your auto sum function and uh, just pick the um the cell here and drag your i've already picked the exact range of cell i'm actually interested interested in which is management then so you can see that it has actually if i double click on it it's telling me that i've actually picked the correct range of cell here mm -hmm. so let me do the same thing and pick the cell then click on auto sum you can see that it's still picking the and uh, the wrong Range of set for me, so just 
Come on. Yeah. And and drag your this the, the cell then you can enter. So I'm just here I'm just trying to correct the result on this particular range of cell in the row function a row cell here. So anytime you are doing the auto subsound just make sure that you get the exact range of cell then let me try to let me explain the function of the auto fill as well let me try to come uh, come in on the auto switch side of it the auto fill let me click first of all let me clear clear this let me clear this too let me clear this on the auto fill side is it's a you can see remember we talk about the the relative and absolute references in an excel the auto fill side of the of it is is actually making you to be copying a, a formula from one cell to the other cells thereby making your work faster but rather than using or maybe using instead of using the auto sum and auto so you can actually pick one cell then copy the, the formula functions there then to the other cell then you are done okay let me let me let me explain that in and this in my examples here so just click the cell here mm -hmm. once you pick the cell just click on auto sum that you present and here i've been able to reference an auto sum on this box which is the total sum here now if you actually want to get the auto sum on the other on the other months here February, March, so what I'm going to do is that just pick the cell here, come down to this edge here, just drag it, you can see, so I'll be able to copy the, the relative cell, that cell that is relative to this particular tutor here, to the other cells here, so thereby make a uh, giving me an easiest way to work on the, the auto song instead of going by way of clicking on the cell then doing one after the other so you can just drag and and drag the formula already embedded in the uh, in one cell here and to the other cell then you are done then let me try it on the same on these cells as well click on the cell then click on the auto song option then click and click on enter so you can see that i'll be able to, to be able to get auto sum here so by referencing you can just be able you can drag the formula in, in on this box down here you can see so that is auto fill that is auto fill so i'll be able to auto fill the the cell references on this personal record to the other other cells here, yeah, thereby making my work to be faster. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.